So I have a fun idea for some coasters I wanna make and I need to get some embroidery thread. Walmart has, look at all these different colors and options. I'm gonna get this one right here. It's 424 and it's a bunch of different green colors. It's gonna be great. For this project, you're gonna need nautical rope. I purchased mine at Amazon. I'm gonna link it in the description box below so you can get the exact one I use. And then you're also going to pick out three thread colors. You're gonna start by making a circle. You're gonna start wrapping your nautical rope by putting glue on the side of it. You want to make sure you don't use too much glue so it doesn't squirt out the top. Next you're going to pick one of your threads and you're going to glue it to the back side of your nautical rope. Next, you're going to wrap the thread around so it completely covers your nautical rope. And then when you have as much as you want, you're just going to glue it down. Then you're going to continue wrapping. This is a very free form project that we're doing so that you can put the thread whenever you want. I'm gonna go with my next color and start wrapping it around. Now, some of the colors I put a little bit more, some I put a little bit less. I don't want them to all be consistent. And I'm gonna continue wrapping my cord around. I'll wrap it around a couple of times and then I'll come back in with my last thread, which is the white. And again, I'll repeat that process of just wrapping around, gluing it on both ends. Now, if you haven't guessed yet, we are making coasters. So once I have it the size I want, I'm just gonna cut off my nautical rope and glue it in place. Now I'm going to be making four of these coasters and I don't want them all to look the same. Some of my other coasters, I may start with the white thread or start with the green thread, but I'm going to try to make them all the same size. And this is a really fun rustic coaster that you can put out on your coffee table. So I always check out the florals anytime I'm at Walmart because honestly, they have the best floral prices and such great selection. I was really excited to find these little blue ones. Look how adorable these are, you guys. I think these, they're called thistle. They'd be great for the summer and I think they could carry you into fall as well. But this yellow bush of flowers, you guys, this looks so realistic. It's 447. I'm loving it in combination with these blue ones. I'm gonna show you how I style it. Walmart has gotta be one of my favorite places to buy florals, you guys. They always have new ones out and they're so reasonably priced. I just love buying them here. So with my blue and yellow flowers, I'm just gonna start by spreading them out. You really kinda wanna move them around, manipulate them so that they look more natural. I'm gonna start placing the blue inside of my yellow flowers so it looks a lot more natural, like it's growing and it's realistic. Next, I'm going to wrap the bottom with some twine. So I'm just gonna start wrapping around some twine that I picked up at Walmart. And I'll do this until I'm happy with about how much is wrapped, and then I'll cut it off and just tie it in place. Now because of the vase I was putting these in, my flowers were a little bit long. So I had to come in with my floral cutters and cut off the bottom. Yours may be the right size. You wanna make sure that the top of your vase is stopping at the top of your floral. So just keep cutting them off until it's the right size for your vase. And here's a look at how they're styled in my office. You guys asked for pet DIY, so I'm gonna grab one of the Walmart collars and I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick bandana. So the first thing you wanna do is size your collar to the size that fits your pet because you're not gonna be able to adjust it once you put on the bandana portion. Next, these squares are so nice, they're already cut. Next, you're gonna fold the fabric in half so that it lays very neatly and you don't see the back part of the fabric. I'm gonna be using the Scotch Spray Adhesive. This stuff holds in place so well. You're just going to spray it on your collar and the back side of your fabric and then you'll fold it back over and press it in place. 
Let that completely dry and then you can give it to your favorite pet. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.